Hi, and welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm Matt Hathaway, and here today we're going to talk about NIST compliance. So NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, covers a wide range of industries, and they work with those industries to help, from a US federal government perspective, define approaches that need to be taken, recommendations, series of guidelines. There's a lot of different components. But specifically today, I want to talk about the data security guidelines and the requirements they set forth. Uh, the first one, which most, most people have heard of, is 800-53. They're approaching revision five. It's currently being reviewed. Um, but revision four has been out there in the industry for a while. And what that does is set a series of standards that all federal agencies in the United States must follow and must comply with. They all fit in with 18 different control fam families that cover hundreds of controls that you need to implement to be considered a secure federal government agency and organization. So what's coming newer is 800-171. So something called DFARS compliance has required that organizations that handle CUI um, must comply with 800-71. And what that is is a subset of 800-53 uh, of about 14 different control families and much fewer controls. And these must be implemented and validated and shown in compliance by December 31st, 2017, in order to continue your contract or whatever relationship you have with the federal government. And then the third is cybersecurity framework from, from NIST. This is not a requirement, it's not controls, but it's very useful to any organization to think about how to construct their security program, how to evaluate where they currently stand today, all based on five basic risk management capabilities that any system should have, and how to approach that for critical infrastructure as the primary audience, but it can be useful to anybody. That's it for this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for joining.